in the live stream that I did when I was okay. talking about that situation, oh, there was someone in the chat that uh -huh. was laughing at your pain. And I was surprised that he was that laughing at your pain. pain. Yes, laughing at the situation. Oh, oh. And it was okay. Peter Thomas. And I was surprised because I was like, wait a minute. I thought y'all was cool. Like, why are you on here throwing shade? Is that a fake Peter or a real Peter? Y'all tell me. Because I'm about to find out. Hold on. Let me see. So that's not you in my chat, is it? Of course it is. I've been nothing watching the whole time. Oh, that is you? Yeah. That's some shit y'all got. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I just know that's a troll, Peter. Huh? <laughs> that was some funny shit. That was funny as fuck, nigga. How is funny when people getting caught up? That's funny. Oh my god, no, I'm laughing because it's funny to me that niggas get caught up. This dumbass. <laughs> oh shit! Ain't that your friend? <laughs> you already know how I feel about that nigga from what I told you. And he, he just trying to rob me. This <laughs> nigga <laughs> crazy. Good for him. Okay. You feeling it? You spilling tea on the thing? Okay, you know what the fuck I say. <laughs> Where he still? I don't want to talk about that shit like that. Okay. Yeah, fine. and I wanted to give you an opportunity to respond. You don't have to. And he was like, "I don't fuck with him no more." You know, he stole from me. He did this. He did that. Yada 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 yada. So I was like, "Oh." I didn't know, you know what I mean? Like, had I known, I wouldn't even ask them that, you know what I'm saying, publicly. So I'm just well, trying to figure out, you know. Mm. Anyway, if you want to clear it up, you can. If you don't want to clear it up, you don't have to. But everybody mm. chat was like, y'all were best buddies. Y'all well, were in a business venture together. And I remember, you know, you doing Instagram videos, showing, you know, y'all two together man, and stuff. I'm out here with Apollo. What's going on? It's called flipping Atlanta, baby. You're getting ready to flip this house. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yep. Uh, we part big. we partnering to flip homes in yep. Atlanta. All day. All right. Thing. And that's some shit that we gonna be flipping houses. My architectural <laughs> style is hustle. All day. You getting ready to kill them? Kill them. Turn Here this thing go. all the way around. Here we go. Make y'all a believer. That's right. Show y'all how to get this money. That's right. All day. Okay. Now, what are the haters going to say, Apollo? When you pull up in they're, the... They're, they're, they don't want to see us shine. No, what, not what at are they all. Gonna say? They're going to try to put their foot on my neck. Guess yes. what? No more. No more. No more, baby. And it's all legit. <laughs> <laughs> and so people were just, you know, curious as to what happened. Right. So, regards to the uh, Peter Thomas uh, <laughs> fuckery, really, and uh, and uh, his allegations, they're one thousand percent false. You know, uh, I'm going to expound on it a little bit, but I won't feed into uh, into the negativity. You know, uh, like Michelle said, you know, when they go low, you got to go high. You know, I won't stoop to that level because that's really some bitch shit. What happened? What he did? I mean, because two men are supposed to be able to speak about things, especially if you're friends, you're not supposed to like uh, defame someone's character. I have a business, I'm a family man. I didn't steal from anyone, okay? We're not talking about, this is not a, a street deal, this is not a drug deal, it's, it's, it's real estate. You know, here it is, I work for a company, I'm a project manager on, 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 on a couple companies um, and make sure that everything goes accordingly. Um, and so, excuse me, so the company already had, and you know, for people out there who don't understand you know, this platform and exactly what, what goes on when you acquire real estate, you have something that's called acquisition. That's what it's called, acquire. Okay. So the acquisition date, the records can show. See, like if it was a situation where I just want to kind of bang his head in and just show exactly what's going on, you know, I could, the records can indicate everything. So acquisition was way before Peter Thomas came in and before he even cut a check to invest. So it was more so like, hey, What's going on? What you got going on? This is what I'm a part of. Okay. I'm not owner. Mm -hmm. I simply work for the, co for the company. Um, anyways, well, Hey, this is what it is. You can get in. This is what you can, you can contribute to it. This is what, you know, your percentage will be. So I was like, okay, yes, that took some time, but remember the acquisition was there. It was a handshake deal, which was admirable on both parties. Right. Especially, you know, 
consider he was my friend. I thought he was my friend um, where it's like, okay, I trust you. We don't need to put any contract, any paperwork. You're saying it is what it is. Let's roll. All right. So they've already started doing their thing, fixing the property up and so forth. Well, you know, during that time, COVID was uh, a lot of the government uh, agencies were shut down. Things were moving a little slow. And, you know, Peter, I guess, you know, for cloud or whatever, he wanted to go out there and basically start to do the, the Instagram thing, which wound up on Wendy Williams. I don't know if you remember that. Um, so, oh, they said y'all were working together? It yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then w once that happened, then it was more so like more scrutiny and stuff came into the project. So here it is, mm -hmm. you know, when, when you work for, for a company, and if I'm working for someone, I try not to put, you know, my um, my notoriety, if you will, on the forefront. I try to play on the backside because I don't want to cause any issues with the project that could prolong. Because you got it's just it just it is what it is. You got some people that 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 love me and some people that that dislike me, you know. Mm -hmm. And you know, you never know. It's like rolling the dice. So yeah. I don't want to I don't want to cause any type of issues for the people that I'm in business with. So I kind of play the back role and don't really come out until need be. You know, I'm always on site and doing what I'm supposed to do. But anyways, um, so he decides to to get in from a financial standpoint. It's not moving fast enough. So now, mind you, it's not like let's just use uh, you know simple numbers. So it's not like he came and said, "Here you go. Here goes the full amount up front." It was rationed out in mm -hmm. portions. Through the, through the through the life of the project, so and who does this? When you invest, you already know when you're making an investment, you're dealing with a potential loss, you're dealing with shit not going um, according to plan, you know, and so forth. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, um, he then in the middle of the project, he asked me, "Hey, can you see if I can get twenty five, twenty seven thousand of my money back in the middle of the investment?" So again, no problem. We cool. Let me see if I can do that for you. So boom, he got his money back. Still, the company still has to move forward though, right? Business still has to go according to plan. So anyways, mm -hmm. the company's still moving forward. He does put the money back, you know, puts the money mm -hmm. back. We keep going. Anyways, once he finished uh, deploying all, all the capital that he had, you know, boom. Next thing you know, he's saying, um, okay, when's the house going to sell? When's the house going to sell? I can't make the house sell. Mm -hmm. All my job was to get the house built. Mm -hmm. So at that point, the company's been carrying a mortgage. Uh, it's hard money, right? So they've been carrying a note on this property. So at the end of the day, you have no choice. So many times, remember when COVID happened, it was a lot of inflation. So mm -hmm. the original investment was not what it was supposed to be. It inflated by, by, you know, by thousands and thousands of dollars. And at that point, he was not in a position to give more money. So there was no cho there was no choice but to refinance the property, okay? okay? Because so, anyways, long story short, man, you know, you know, for him to sit here and say that I, that I stole from him, so I, so when he just kept talking and talking and talking, I said, you know what? This is what I'm gonna do for you. I'm just gonna have the company to deed the property to you with a shitload of equity, almost three hundred, two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars worth of equity in the property. So while you're running your mouth saying When's it gonna sell? And you're saying that I stole from you and I and I did all this. That's that's false. We the the company deeded the house to you. The house is deeded to him. Hmm. So so who took something? <gasps> it's a, it's an eight hundred and something thousand dollar house, seven hundred and something thousand, whatever it was. I think it was on the market mm -hmm. for eight twenty five uh, at mm -hmm. one point. And I think the pro it, it dropped. But at the end of the day, the property is in his possession. So then mm -hmm. guess what? So so since I stole from you, guess what? There's a mortgage still on the house, right? And those are the people that are my investors that I work for. And guess what? He goes into foreclosure because he couldn't pay the note. Did he tell you that? Did he tell you that he was seven months behind in foreclosure? March, matter of fact, it's on the record. You can look at it. It's public records. March 3rd, March 5th is when the property is going up for a foreclosure. Uh, and yes, they were able to, assumingly, they were able to, to redeem it. So it didn't go into foreclosure. But come on, man. Mm -hmm. So the only thing that I could think of is I said, why would he say that I stole from him or something like that, right? How is this possible mm -hmm. when you have a whole house in your name right now? So then, you know, I started thinking about, I said, okay, what is he talking about? Like the appliances or something in the house? You know, I don't know. But then when I thought about it, I said, hey, look, first of all, 
the property belongs to other people too. Yeah, it's deeded to him, but the, the note is in someone else's name. Mm -hmm. So someone did come in there and take the take the, uh, the appliances out. They took the appliances out two weeks prior or three weeks prior to it going to foreclosure. Why mm -hmm. would you leave all the appliances in the house? Right? But as soon as he found out or whoever came to the house and notified him about it, he called me. And when he called me, I said, I'm not sure. Let me look into it. So once I looked into it, I figured out who did it, what happened. And guess what? The merchandise was returned. Mm -hmm. So how do you steal from somebody? Ooh, so, you know, it's so, just a lot of, it's a lot of well, bullshit. I, I you know, feel but, like y'all should have probably, like you said, y'all should have had a conversation offline before he put it on care. blast online. And, you know, it, it, because y'all got a history together. You know what I'm saying? And it, We do, but see, that's the thing. Then you, you, you kind of back somebody in the corner to where, they have no choice but to kind of defend themselves and just put it out there. I'm not, I'm not seeking clout. I'm not seeking any type of, you know, notoriety off the situation. I'm not here running my mouth saying I did this, I did that, whatever. You know, I did the best I could. We built the beautiful house, um, you know, had a completed product. If we couldn't make the product move, it is what it is. But everybody, see, you, you see what happened is uh, Peter came into the situation selfish. Me, 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 me. There's mm -hmm. a lot of people that sacrifice. There's a lot of people sweat equity designs hell shireen was the fucking architect on the whole thing the interior design the architect think about all the shit that she lost she didn't get a dime mm -hmm. she didn't make a dime just because here it is we're all trying to save face we had a couple other business partners the bank we didn't make nothing so here it is we're mm -hmm. sitting here and and just for your thinking ass we're sitting here trying to tell you okay man be patient be patient you know what here goes here goes the deed man that's the best i can do mm -hmm. what else do you want me to do here you go. Okay, you sell it, you do whatever you need to do. But you do know there's a note on the property. We had no choice but to do that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that was it. I just think that, man, I don't know what he's going through. He's dealing with a lot of stuff in his life. I wish him well, you know, but I I'm the wrong person to attack, man, especially, you know, the shit that I've been through. Uh, it, now is not the time. You know, I'm not sitting here knocking his head off, you know, trying to sit here and, and make fun of the shit that he's going through. So guess what? The ring camera situation, right? For him to even mm -hmm. comment on that. Let's just mm -hmm. say the shit that's going on with him and the IRS right now or, or the, the landlord and stuff like that. What if I got on the blog, you know, on TMZ or whatever I want to do or your, or your, your platform and just started laughing and making a mockery out of him. Mm -hmm. You had like, what was you really trying to do? Yeah. Is it just, is like it I just, said, I, I just should have, should have a conversation. It's not a y'all. Y'all still have a conversation. See, it's not a y'all. It's a him. Well, See, cause he I, cause I, and I, you, he and you, you and him, should still have a conversation. You know what I'm saying? The same yeah. way you you and Todd had a conversation after yeah. all these years. You know what yeah, I'm saying? But my, all my business has been good, man. I sit there like literally, literally when you felt like things weren't going the way it was supposed to go, I deeded the house to you. So let me ask you a question. Let's just say the house didn't sell and let's just say we never put a note. There was no mortgage on the property. Mm -hmm. So so you all you have is acquisition. You have a uh, budget, rehab budget. And you have his investment that's all tied into the rehab budget and everything so then what so now you have hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of equity in the property what do you want to just give you the property so i deeded you the property everybody knows that when you pay a mortgage partial goes to interest partial goes towards the payment of the house right mm -hmm. so you're still building some type of equity unfortunately mm -hmm. you wanted it now you wanted your money now when I when you wanted to watch this now, Michelle, you want the property now. So if you want the property now, all I can do is deed the property to you with an encumbrance on it. The encumbrance mm -hmm. being the lien and in, in, in which you have to service that lien. You have to service the monthly payment. The monthly payment has been being serviced, if that's a word, been being. Well, so does the been, house have equity? A shitload of equity. Oh, okay. it has almost it has almost probably like two, 250, 280 worth of equity in the property. Okay. okay? That's your, that's your profit and everything. So if, if you would have just left it like it was, right, continue mm -hmm. to let the company service the loan, which they've been servicing the loan for a year, for a year and some odd now, right? Mm -hmm. Then you could have put a security instrument on it. You could have put a lien on it and we wouldn't even have this problem. You just wait. So he tried it his way. So once he tried it his way, he went into foreclosure. He put the house on the market for sale and didn't sell. So what are you doing different than what we did? The only thing you did different than what the company did was you got in, got the house almost took. Because everybody put the house on the market to sell. It just wasn't time to sell. 
So, you know, yeah. that's just a bunch of BS, man. Everybody worked hard as hell on that property. And that property was a fuck, was an amazing piece. Mm-hmm. Amazing piece. I mean, considering what, oh man, hands down, like to, to the team, to Shireen and, and her team and her, you know, insight and design skills. I mean, you can't, you can't ask for nothing better. So yeah. we delivered, we delivered a hell of a product. I'm very proud of the product. And you know, it's, it's a learning lesson, but you just, you don't go well, into business know. with people who don't understand the magnitude of real estate and how things go. You stick to the restaurant or whatever he's doing. Cause that don't look like it's, it's in fruition right now, but you, know, Apollo, listen, Apollo, you don't have to do tip for tat. Now we, you just said you weren't going to do tip for tat. So <laughs> I'm not, but it's not fair, man. You know, it's not fair. I've been, I've been loyal. I've been humble. I've been, even when Peter was going through shit years ago, I was the one I'm riding with Peter. Even on the TV show when the when what's the name put his hands on him and shit like that, I stood up and, and rode for Peter. Peter's always been my guy. You know, people change, man. People change. I didn't do it. Yeah, and and you it. never know what people are going through. Sometimes you gotta true, give people credit. True, people, people, yeah, people might be going through some stuff, but you don't take your anger and frustration out on. I, I, you know, it's been time now, but you know, I've been home for a little while now, but I'm saying I was still going through my problems just trying to you know reintegrate with society and just try to get my footing and figure out you know my passion and figure out what you know what's gonna you know suffice for me and my family and how i can get in and make things move, maneuver for myself i'm not out here tearing nobody down i'm not out here frivolously running my mouth and, and just jumping on blogs and doing shit. i don't do that yeah you know that you know how hard it is for me to even want to get on here it's hard to get up like, do you know how long i've been working to get you on this show right now <laughs> well, you know, but they don't know. But yeah, it's hard to get Apollo. Apollo be gone. So Apollo you know, I don't. Busy. Yeah, I don't bother nobody, man. You know, but yeah. it is what it is. I'm not mad. You know, it's like I say, I can't. You know, I can't get mad. I got a cool support system, a good team. I'm not mad at nobody. If that's what makes you happy, it makes you feel good. If it made you feel more of a man to do that to me, cool, cool. Well, you know I, what I'm saying? I maybe, just, maybe you need. Maybe he I needed it. Y'all to communicate. You think it helped his maybe it helped his help his ego? Listen, listen, listen. I know, listen, I know you're upset, but I'm just saying I feel like both of you have been severely misunderstood in the media. You know what I'm saying? And so because of this housewife stuff and people putting this stigma on you, be, you know, y'all scammers, y'all this, y'all that. And I know both of y'all are, you know, generally good guys. So I just feel like you should have a conversation with and him. And that's the part that made that really upset me because yes, I did go to federal prison for bank fraud, for wire fraud, you understand? So that stigma that someone scammed somebody or stole from somebody, it looks, it's terrible. Mm -hmm. It's terrible. Think about it right now. If I had a major contract on the table right now, oh, you know, and somebody wanted me to come in and do X, Y, Z, and I'm the representative, I'm I'm, I'm representing the court company to go out here and and speak to this hedge fund and this, that, and third, and they get wind and they're like, what? Yeah. Do you understand what that does to a person's character? I'm already climbing, fighting, trying to get that shit off my back, trying to get people to forget and forgive me. It's not and Peter fair. It's knows not... that he in the same boat. He in the not same right. boat. As soon as not you know right. he get a leg up, then some other news come out, and then you know it's always a snowball effect. So he knows that the same way. Anyway, that's why I want y'all to talk talk about it or whatever but again i just wanted to bring it up i didn't know how you were going to expand on it but i'm glad you then i don't understand when i brought when the when the merchandise was brought back to the house the man calls me and says hey i'm in town this week you want to get up go out and have a drink and then this man man listen man i met the man at yanni's uh a spot uh he's got a uh a clothing store that he built Mm -hmm. that he put together in bucket i went to his spot he was there we were talking Come on, man. You don't do that. But it's cool. I'm not. I'm not mad. Yeah. I, literally, I'm not mad. It doesn't. When we get off this program, I'm gonna forget all about it. I don't. It okay. don't make me no difference. Well, you know, again, hey. I just want y'all to, you know. Anyway, what's next? But, well, wait, one more thing before before that. One more thing I gotta say. Yeah, okay. think about what you say because there's a lot of people involved. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you're not just you're not just talking about me and hurting me. There's other people. There's other people that signed, the people who own the property, they're the ones who signed off on the deal just because okay. of me. Mm-hmm. Just because of me, they signed off on the deal. You know, and here it is, I put my neck out there for you to get everybody to come to agree and say, okay, look, he just wants what he put into it. Let's just give it to him and he's gonna serve it. Remember there was no contract. 
In the beginning, mm -hmm. they didn't sign a contract when it was time to sign it over to them. They offer face value. They're saying, okay, are you sure? We need to put a contract. They're saying, hey, we need to put a contract in place and saying he's going to pay the mortgage and this, that, and third. I said, well, it's only fair. He gave investment with no contract. So his word was he was going to service the loan. Mm -hmm. This hurt a lot of people, man. What do you think it does to someone's credit? Going into foreclosure. Or in seven months, foreclosure, seven months behind. Who, seven months behind. What do you think is going on right now? I how do you think the invest? How do you think the, the the owners of the property? How do you think they feel right now? What do you think? How do you think they're looking at me? Have you thought about that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you know, but well, whatever. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Oh, oh.